Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I don't think I can say enough on this channel. Maybe I'll say it four times this month. At least four times this month. This is why this is the SideQuest Hall of Fame. I have just spent my candy. Now, the candy shop in itself isn't really so much in the SideQuest Hall of Fame. It's, as the kids would say, mid. And I did just purchase, if you missed the video, the best value, I believe, in the candy shop. And if you're wondering what the heck that is, I welcome you to go check out the video. I also posted all the fights that I did and all the boosts that I used on the hard two paths of week two, the side quest. Because even though for some reason the progress of the side quest uh, changed in week one, and that's why it says I've only completed 81% of it, that's actually not true. Because uh, the path that it says I haven't done, there is no candy on it. It's a blank path. And I'm not going to redo it just because I have some level of OCD when it comes to wanting them to know that I 100% completed it. Because they know, if they didn't know, the candy would not be refreshed. But the reason why these, this side quest has a chance to be in the side quest hall of fame is that number 20. That number 20 represents how many new notifications, and that's probably going to be a good thumbnail, how many new notifications I have to claim items that are in the Proven, the Uncollected, the Cavalier, the Thronebreaker, and the Paragon 42-day event. Kabam, for so many years, has given whatever progression level you're at just that specific. It's like uh, with the test of the Paragon. I do the test of the Paragon. When I complete that, I don't get the test of the Thronebreaker and of Cavalier, of Uncollected, etc., etc. I just get one. But they didn't do that for this side quest. They gave us everything. And so every time I spend a week's worth of candy, I get so many bonus items. And let's just check it out. We get some four-star shards, some five-star six stones. We get a fully formed Tier 5 Class Catalyst Crystal. Some gold tier 3 Alpha Catalyst Fragments. We get tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragments. A fully formed tier 5 Basic. This is where it gets a little weird. Uh, 5 Star Shards. 2 tier 3 Class Catalyst Crystals. ISO. Gold. You get 2 of these uh, Ultimate Crystals, which are usually Ultimate Disappointment. Free Tier 2 Alpha, and then a good chunk of Tier 6 Basic Catalyst Fragments. All of that is just a bonus for spending the side quest currency. This is why this has a chance to make it in the side quest Hall of Fame, and I am all about giving Kabam... There's, of course, two three stars. Uh, credit where credit's due. And I believe that... As you start to add up all the resources you get, especially if you're at the top or near the top of the progression tiers of this game, you'll see you suddenly have... I've got 15 Tier 5 Basic in the Overflow. That's way more than normal. Speaking of way more than normal, 25 Tier 2 Alpha. And so much of that is thanks to the side quest. I actually have less uh, Tier 1 Alpha than Tier 2 now. There's It's like harder for me to get Tier 1 Alpha and Tier 4 Basic which they're not expensive at all in the rank up store. So I guess that's why Kabam priced them so low. They anticipated that the economy of the game would kind of shift that way. But man, you combine this with double the daily specials now uh, that you can claim, I mean, excuse me, the double the daily crystals you can claim uh, in both the online store and in-game store, you're gonna get twice as much tier two alpha crystals, twice as much tier five basic and I still believe a new progression title should be right around the corner soon and everything is going to just be that much of a bigger deal. We know Kabam is working on the next progression to have a very small chance for a free 7-star champion because that's going to be also the best way to motivate players to actually progress. So, stay tuned. Thronebreaker was a new progression title that was right before... Cyber Weekend, or now what we call it Cyber Week, because it's usually seven days. And uh, we also know that in between spring cleaning and July 4th week was Paragon. 
So I feel like it rotates. It's almost like this, the winter and the summer Olympics every couple years. It's either a new progression title in the fall or the spring. The last one was the spring, so I anticipate the fall. I could be wrong, but if I'm right, I appreciate the uh, less than 5% of the community that will probably give me credit. I'm not saying it's a huge deal to be right, but if you only ever get told when you're wrong, but nobody ever gives you credit when, when you're right, it, it just it's harder to read the comments, you know? Big, uh, big risk of mental health issues. Anyhow, weird notes in this video on, but uh, there you go. SideQuest Hall of Fame, week two, going on week three. Thanks for watching.